Welcome to this MicroScan video tutorial on how to use the MicroHawk barcode readers. This section is a quick introduction to the MicroHawk ID40. In this video, I will show you step by step how to get your MicroHawk reader up and running, connected to your PC, and run the WebLink configuration interface. No software installation is needed. The PC interface is 100% web browser based. Let's open the box first. This is the MicroHawk ID40. This is an imager for reading code symbols, such as linear barcodes, data matrix codes, QR codes, or any other code types there are in the market. Let's go through some of its main features. It has a robust aluminum enclosure, IP65, IP67. The MicroHawk ID40 measures just 45 millimeters by 45 millimeters by 25 millimeters. It has serial and Ethernet communication and industrial protocols like Ethernet IP and Profinet. It supports a dual boot feature. With additional licenses, you can reboot it as a machine vision device, a smart camera. We will discuss this feature in another video. Power supplies from 5 volts to 30 volts. It has opto-isolated outputs and trigger input, so you can trigger it from physical signal or from serial communication. The sensor inside comes in three flavors, 0 0.3 megapixel, 1.2 megapixel, and 5 megapixel. Let's take a quick look at some other parts of the unit. The MicroHawk reader features a liquid lens. This enables us to change the focus electrically from the configuration interface, or to work in autofocus mode, which simply enables the camera to focus automatically on a symbol that is very close, as well as on a symbol that is further away. The device has internal illumination, one board on the left side and one on the right side. If you open these four screws, and then these two smaller screws, you can pull out the illumination board. This way, you can replace them to have illumination in another color, like red or white. Besides these two boards, we have additional illumination LEDs. This line of LEDs, and this line of LEDs. We have two options for lens aperture. The high density lens, which has a more narrow field of view, and standard density, which has more opening to catch a bigger field of view. There are two M12 connectors. All the signals are to be found in these two connections. The power, the inputs, the outputs, the serial communication, everything. Now let's look at the LED indicators. We have a panel on the outside of the device. Let's go through them one by one. The pass and fail indicators will simply tell us if the inspection has passed or failed. The trigger shows if the unit is triggered or not. Mode is the operation mode of the unit. Link shows the Ethernet link. And the power LED shows that the unit is powered. The unit also has this external button. I will now show you how to connect the cables and start up your device for the first time. Let's see what we have here. There is a cut 5E Ethernet cable, industrial shielded cable. I have here a box with the power supply. The power supply is 24 volt with 2.1 amps. It can work on 100 volts to 240 volts. So it works both in Europe and in the US.
And we have here the power cables, one for the European and one for the US standard. Okay, now let's open the Ethernet cable packaging. On one side, we have the RJ45 that you plug into the PC. On the other side, we have the M12 connector, which can be plugged into the MicroHawk with a screw-on connector. This is the power cable which comes from the power supply. I will connect this as well. And that's it. Now I've installed my MicroHawk device on a pedestal using a MicroScan mounting bracket. This way I can place around here any symbol that I want to read. Let's power up the device. I will now connect the power. When the reader is booted, it will by default start to search for a symbol. And as long as there is no symbol in the field of view, we can see that the fail LED indicator is illuminated during every cycle. Now I will place a symbol in front of the reader and we can see that it's reading immediately with the default settings. And if we look at the pass LED indicator, we see that the pass status is now on. Now we are ready to start up the weblink user interface. Now, when the device is booted and connected to the PC, Let's set up our network configuration on the PC in order to view the weblink user interface. We go to the network settings of our Ethernet connection. Set up the PC to be on the address 192.168.188. The default IP address of the MicroHawk is 192.168.188.2. So the PC, we can put, for example, 10 to be on the same network. Subnet mask we can leave as default. It should also fit to the device subnet mask. Press OK and close, and we're done. Now, we can open a new web browser page and type the IP address of the device. And the web link pages are uploading. Now, we see the web link interface, the field of view of the device, and the symbol that it is reading, the decoded text of every trigger. And this is the default mode of the device. Later, we will take a look at the weblink interface to become more acquainted with all the controls and buttons. Thank you for watching.